And when I say Kennedy, I mean John F. Kennedy. The man who promised all the American so-called Negroes who vote what he was going to do for them when he got in office and has yet to do the first thing that he promised, but has paid off the Negro leadership so that they are silent and say nothing about the promises that he originally made to get Negroes to vote for him. Now, I would like to point out another point before we go any farther. Uh, we who are followers of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad do not make a choice between integration and segregation. Segregation doesn't enter into the picture at all. We are for separation, not, not segregation. Segregation, as we're taught by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, is that which is forced upon inferiors by superiors. Separation is done voluntarily by two equals. When you find an all-white school, they don't call it a segregated school. They call it a separate school. When you find an all-Negro school, they call it a segregated school because it was set up by the white man. If it was an all-black school that had been set up by the black man himself, run by the black man himself, with the curricula that they follow, uh, put in the school by the black man himself, they would call it a separate school. And it would be just as independent and on equal, equal basis with the white school. a man who was a Catholic president who himself was discriminated against for a long time and accused Protestants of practicing religious discrimination, I think that he is way out of line to uh, use his position now as the first Catholic president to open up his mouth against a religious group uh, here in this country that is headed by the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. If he's not going to open up his mouth and outright condemn the Citizens Council by name and condemn the Ku Klux Klan by name and uh, condemn the white Masonic order, which is all white by name, and the white churches in the South by name, then Kennedy is wrong to point at the Muslims because we are black and because we don't want to mix with the people down there. And I should say that when we express our uh, desire not to mix with whites, he, uh, they call us a hate group. And Martin Luther King is running around here telling Negroes to love all kind of white people, and they sick dogs on Martin Luther King. So it answers itself, and it shows the hypocrisy of the white man. On November 22, 1963, President John F. Kennedy was assassinated. For the, nation. the day after the assassination, Malcolm X made a remark that shocked both his followers and his enemies. When you send uh, your chickens out in the morning from your barnyard, those chickens will return that evening to your barnyard, not your neighbor's barnyard. I think this is a prime example of the devil's chickens coming back home to roost. The public was enraged by his apparent irreverence. In his book, Malcolm insists he was misunderstood. You were involved in a controversy some months ago with your leader. Is that over? Well, I've been, I've been silent for the past 90 days because of uh, some statements I made concerning the president of the United States, uh, which were distorted. They were distorted? And, yes. And, what did you say, and, Malcolm? Well, I said the same thing that everybody says, that uh, his assassination was the result of the climate of hate. But only, I, not... only, only I said the chickens came home to roost, and, which means the same thing. Uh, uh, climate of hate means that this is this is the result of something. And when I said chickens coming home the roof, I mean, uh, chickens coming home the roof. I said the same thing. But did you did you did not say that you were glad the president was killed. No, that's what the press said. Uh -huh. 